Hello, welcome and Happy New Year! Hope everyone's had an awesome Christmas and sorry I haven't really kind of been around much. I've got a little bit of um, a secret to reveal. Uh, a lot of you guys probably knew it was happening anyway but didn't know when and neither did I until just a few weeks ago. I was given a call out of the blue to say, come in next week. And ever since then I've been kind of pondering how to kind of uh, share my news and whatever with the rest of uh, Instagram, Facebook, you know, all my friends and what have you. So um, this is the moment, I guess, I reveal my new stump. <laughs> yes, um, finally after eight years uh, living with CRPS and seven years of um, say fighting, not physically fighting, but um, you know, arguing my point for uh, an elective amputation. Finally, after seven years, it has happened. So yeah, it's um, it's an amazing feeling to be sitting here and not having like my leg all heavy and twisted, and my back pain already is just like ten times better. Oops, I forgot to set my timer. I'll have to clip this bit out. It's too late to set the timer now, isn't it? That way, I didn't want my video to run over. Trim this bit. Three minutes. Go. So, I want to get this video done nice and nice and quickly because I know I have a tendency to talk forever and ever and ever. Um, I'm going to be doing some, or I have already done, and there will be coming a YouTube uh, sort of vlog series um, documenting my experience uh, from. Um, you know, a couple of days before the surgery um, to, you know, the current day. And yeah, I just want to share my updates with the rest of you guys, really. So yeah, um, I haven't been skating like in an awful long time. I couldn't skate leading like up to the surgery. Uh, I had to be extremely careful as um, anyone with complex regional pain syndrome knows. Uh, if you injure yourself and you get a flare up, and possibly spreads and things like that, that's not good. And especially prior to a surgery like amputation, where, you know, it's really important the lower the pain is prior to your actual surgery, you know, the less are your chances of phantom limb pain or also bad phantom limb pain. So unfortunately I've had to be a very good girl for what seems like a very, very long time. And unfortunately still having to be a good girl for uh, the foreseeable future. So um, at the moment, unfortunately, I won't be jumping back into my WCNX jet anytime in the very immediate future. However, I hope it won't be too much longer or too, too long before that's able to happen. Um, and when I say my WCMX chair, you know what I mean, my other wheelchair that I use for WCMX. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of like a crazy, uh, been a crazy few weeks really. Uh, yesterday I was five weeks post-op and yeah of my through knee, um, knee disarticulation amputation surgery. As you can see at the moment I've just got it in its sock. Um, it actually prefers to be in its sock. It keeps it warm. I've got a little bit of wound issues at the moment. It's only a small 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 problem just with some an issue with a spot that's not quite healing quite yet and it's scabbed over but like it's wet underneath and the skin isn't kind of coming together uh that's it's not a severe problem and i'm hoping like in the next week or so because i've been seeing my um practice nurse now in the doctor surgery she's given me uh very specific um dressings and and sort of supplies that will help moisten it slowly so that the scab itself can moisten and fall away and then allow them the sloughy kind of yucky stuff behind that to sort of like heal that heal and, and then that skin to sort of bring together it's only like like a small patch like that it's just like right on the very end of the stump so yeah um a lot of people have been asking me you know already will i be getting a prosthetic the answer to that question is i really don't know at this point it is really too early to tell um i will update you guys when i know what's happening but at the moment i have absolutely no idea um, you know, it's just one of those we just wait and we see and hopefully if things go well that might be a possibility, who knows? But at the moment it is literally impossible for me to say um, and bearing in mind that the purpose of this surgery was never actually written down and my surgeon actually reinforced this to me that the main purpose of the surgery was to improve my quality of life, not necessarily 
to learn to walk again. So, you know, if, if that happened, then I guess it was like, you know, it's a bonus sort of thing. But the most important thing was that the back pain that I was getting from sitting with my leg, kind of my hip was in a strange angle like that because of how my leg had to bend across. And then that, because my hip was like twisted out, it then created like a twist in my back. And I can tell you already, just be able to sit with my leg like straight like that. Wow, what a difference, you know, it's, it's just brilliant. But I say if someone, you know, gave me my leg back now, I know that physically can't happen, but it's like if someone put my CRPS leg back on now, I wouldn't even know how, I, how, how to manage it. I don't even know how I lived with it as long as I did. I really don't just dragging it around it was literally dead weight four kilos in fact of dead weight we uh weighed myself before and after surgery and i lost four kilos in a week from uh having my leg amputated so um yeah everything's going like pretty well so far everything's you know happening you know everything that i wanted to happen has happened so far and i'm so so grateful um to everyone who's been patient on me i know like the last year or so like emotionally I've probably been a bit distant and stuff and I've not been kind of who I wanted to for a while I guess it's just been the anxiety and not knowing when it was going to happen and then still wondering, worrying whether they would change their mind and say that they weren't going to do it uh, so it has been you know quite long and worrying and for that reason I've not really feel felt happy in myself for quite some time and I'll be honest like waking up from the surgery and like it not being there it was just literally uh a weight off me immediately literally and you know metaphorically um I just feel like like who I was before in a way you know I can uh, I can cross my legs you know I can move my leg up and down and I couldn't do that before you know if I want to I can there we are. you know it's uh it's amazing you know I haven't got a knee joint anymore so I haven't got to worry about trying to squash it into the chair it's just literally the full length of my thigh and yeah it's hunky dory so i'm gonna uh rush on out of here now it's actually uh new year's day so i want to wish everybody especially you guys in wales a blue thin there with da and that's a happy new year for everybody who's not a welsh speaker <laughs> um not that i live in wales but i used to be i used to live in wales and i flew up welsh speaker I used to go to uh, a welsh primary and secondary school even though i was actually born in the midlands and um, so I, I, I went through school um, taught as a first language Welsh student, even though it wasn't my home language. I learned it when I was, if I had to learn a language again now, I would be screwed. But anyway, um, I hope everybody's had an awesome Christmas. Um, you know, I really can't wait to see what's going to happen this year. We've got so much to look forward to, you know, um, Skate and WCMX. I hope we can get some more meetups this year. Uh, and, um, you know, adaptive skate, you know, included in that as well, just get some jams in and stuff. And just as a community, just get more stuff going on, really. And hopefully this will just encourage more and more people into the sport, just, you know, at a grassroots level, you know, everything's got to start somewhere. And I think the last year, I say 12, 18 months, we've really had like a bit of a revolution, especially with uh, you know more companies now uh, building the skate chair especially uh, Roma, Roma um, and you know th that's that's made it a lot easier for people to actually to get to buy a WCMX chair or to, to get a good fit in a chair rather than having to order order online to abroad and, and, and hope that it arrives as the right size I know I'd be absolutely terrified of doing that but yeah so um I want to wish everyone said so finally a, a happy new year a wonderful awesome fantastic skate uh, to, to 2020 or 2020 as everyone seems to be calling these things and yeah let's stay safe um and have fun keep pushing keep smiling and thank you guys for for being with me through all this and i can't wait to be back out again you'll most likely see me this year a lot with my camera in hand as um I really want to home down on my skate photography and some uh, videography and film well, filmography as well. So I will be putting messages out there because I've got some really cool project ideas and I would be looking for as many people as possible that, you know, depending on what area we're doing it in or where we can get to, um, to, to do these projects. So more news on that um, as it happens. But yeah, everybody have a enjoyable rest of your New Year's Day. I uh, hope you haven't eaten too much, drank too much, if you're old enough to drink, that is. Um, see you soon, guys. Cheers.
and keep pushing. Peace.